Hi guys, hope you're doing great. Hussein's here and in this video we want to talk about this course overview and what we will learn throughout this course. In, in the first step in section 1, we will talk about how we can both download and install Power BI Desktop, how you can import data from different resources, how you can create a custom table, and finally how you can simply create your first visualizations in Power BI Desktop. At the next step in section two, we will talk about data transformation techniques. Uh, we will introduce Power Query Editor and doing some data transformations like choosing or removing columns, keeping or removing rows, sorting columns, sorting tables based on one or more than one columns, splitting columns, uh, merging or appending some tables, finally referencing a table or duplicating a table. At the next step in the first, in the, fir in the uh, third section, we will talk about data model, how you can organize your tables, how you can manage the relationship between tables, and uh, we will introduce lookup tables and fact tables, and we will talk about primary keys and uh, foreign keys, and we're also going to talk about uh, schemas, star schemas, and snowflake schemas. In the section four, we will introduce DAX, which stands for Data Analysis Expression, uh, which is a language in Power BI that you can use it to create measures and um, use its function to do some analysis in Power BI. We will talk about uh, calculated columns. We uh, will create some measures using some functions like count, distinct count, count a, sum, sumix, calculate, filter, and so on and so forth. We're also going to talk about introducing some time intelligence functions. And finally, in section 5, we will uh, create some visualizations like uh, bar charts, column charts, scatter charts, area charts, and donut charts. And we will learn how we can create a report in Power BI. We uh, also create a, create a complete report in Power BI using cards, using some visualizations that we will create uh, in these sections. And we will create a full Power BI model. And uh, I hope you enjoy this course and see you in the next video.